Good and blessed day, everyone. I am Mr. Raymond Aribo Jr. In today's presentation, I am going to discuss the topic about the drug trafficking. And also, I will include in this presentation are the following. First, the meaning of drug trafficking. Second, related laws and policies on the drug trafficking. And third, the latest situation of the drugs and drug trafficking cases in our country. Fourth, the history or background of war on drugs. Fifth, the government countermeasures to prevent and suppress the drug trafficking and other related cases. And lastly, my comments and suggestions on the said government plans and projects to prevent the said crime. And now, I will discuss the related laws. We have here the Republic Act Number 9165 or the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. And for the other international related treaties, we have the Single Convention on Narcotics Drugs of 1961 as amended by the 1972 Protocol. And second, the, the Convention on Psychotropic Substances of 1971. And lastly, the United Nations Convention against illicit traffic in narcotics, drugs, and psychotropic substances of 1988. And now I will discuss the meaning of drug trafficking. Drug trafficking is one of the crimes listed under the transnational crime because the essential and material elements for the commission of drug trafficking are committed in the other countries and the subject of their transaction here is the dangerous drug, which means, or accordingly, is any drug other than a controlled substance and safe for self-medication or unsupervised use. And it is committed by means of an authorized manufacturing of dangerous drugs, illicit distribution of the said substance, illegal cultivation, illegal tra drug trade, and uh, an unlawful transportation of the same. And now, let's talk about the latest drug situation in the Philippines. According to the verified report, in 2008, there are 2.1% of Filipinos aged 16 to 64 use the drug, dangerous drugs. And for 2012 report, Philippines had the highest rate of methamphetamine use in East Asia. And for 2010 and 2015, there are 623 government officials and employees arrested for the drug possession. And there are 499 reformation center created by the governments. And now for the latest drug trafficking situation in the Philippines, according to the verified report, for June 2016 to July 2019, there are 134,583 anti-drug operations conducted by the law enforcement agencies. And there are um, 193,086 uh, arrested for the said crimes and there are 5,526 suspected traffickers died and 421,275 voluntary surrendered. And for May 2019, 39 bricks of cocaine valued at around 4 million were found by the fishermen in the Philippines. And as of September 2019 report, Rappler uh, Marlon Ferra Romas, better known by his stage name Looney, and four others were arrested on a by bus operation in Poblacion, Makati. Okay, and um, that's our that uh, that is the significant or uh, verified report. And now let's talk about the war on drugs. This uh, anti-drug policy and action was uh, started on June 30, 2006 under the administration of our President uh, Rodrigo Duterte. And the objective of this uh, policy or an action is to neutralize the illegal drug uh, personalities uh, in our country or in uh, nationwide. And according to this uh, verified report, there are five 
1,100 drug personalities uh, killed as of January 2019. And uh, there are 12,000 death toll was claimed by the human rights. And um, on February 2018, the International Criminal Court initiated the preliminary examination of the said uh, healings. And um, on 2018, in relation to this uh, anti-drug policy in action, the offland double barrel, offland tokhan, and offland high value targets was executed by the PNP. And um, as of this report, the war on drugs are still effective and the case for alleged crimes against humanity are also still pending. And now, let's talk about the uh, government response to drug trafficking. In, uh, in an objective of the government to prevent and suppress these crimes, they are created the Philippine Anti-Drug Strategy, which consists of preventive education and capacity building. In this project, the government adopt, uh, adopt the international standards to uh, uh, enhance their campaigns against the said crime. And there is a treatment, rehabilitation, and reintegration uh, to assist the victims of the said crime and the policy studies research and statistic division to study the latest cases uh, to include in their policy and the regulatory compliance uh, wherein the, uh, the government conducted or regulated the uh, use of, dr of drugs in our country and the judicial and legislative measure which uh, their task is to ensure the proper and appropriate uh, uh, judicial actions against the uh, drug traffickers. And also, the government created the Interagency inter Committees on Anti-Illegal Drugs which consists of the uh, PDEA as the chairperson and the members are the following agencies, the DDB, DDB the Dangerous Drug Boards, the DILG, DOJ, DOH, DEFED, DSWD, DTI, Department of Agriculture, Department of National Defense, TESDA, AFP, and Anti-Money Laundering Council. And for the clusters, according to this uh, uh, agency, are the following, the uh, enforcement, where there ensures the uh, appropriate actions and apprehension on the traffickers and the justice to ensure the prosecution of the traffickers and the advocacy wherein they uh, enhance the campaign on the or against campaign on alleged uh, on the said crime and the rehabilitation and integration. And lastly, my comments and suggestions are the following. Strategic monitoring and supervision of the Philippine borders should be maintained. And close coordination between the international and local and other concerned agencies related to the implementation and supervision of drug trafficking should also be maintained from time to time. And preventive measure against drug trafficking should be enhanced. And lastly, campaign against drug trafficking and other related cases should be strengthened. And that's all for now. Thank you and God bless you all.